interesting. It kind of feels weird, like a first person kind of thing, you know? Yeah. That is so cool, though. I like it. I really. Oh, <laughs> Jesus! Can you <laughs> seriously? There was a bubble, and you popped it. <laughs> Oh, you're here. Welcome, welcome. Back to our channel. We have been eagerly awaiting your arrival, the audience. <laughs> Allow me to introduce myself. I am the storyteller. And I am Witchley. <laughs> Pleased to make your acquaintance. I shall be your guide going forward. Now then, before we begin our story, there are several things I must bring to your attention. First thing, this game uses autosave. FUCK! <laughs> the game will automatically save at regular intervals, so you may stop playing at any time. Saving is a very important element of games. It is the only way to keep your memories in place. I kind of like the fourth wall break here. If you do yeah, not I realize that top part's just a mess. Oh, it is. I thought it was his whole face. Yeah, it's a mask. <laughs> if you do not wish to rely on autosave alone, you can always save manually via the menu. Next, please look at the upper right of the screen. This is the menu button. He's looking right up at it. That's kind of cool. From here, you can check the text log, view useful files, and switch auto mode on and off. You can also adjust the brightness, volume, and other settings in the option menu. For instance, if there is a voice you would prefer not to hear, you can mute it by setting the volume to zero. Nice. I suggest you check the brightness controls and other settings now before going on. Oh, I'm good. I will explain other essential functions when the time is right. Ah, there is one more thing I wish to confirm before we continue. I mean, it feels weird doing an old voice now that we know he looks like a young chap. Um, <laughs> it would feel strange to go on without knowing your name. Please tell me what I may call you. I already There's know. I have to wait. I only have ten. I have enough. <laughs> Grumbelina. Nice. We're Grumbelina. <laughs> I see. What? <laughs> no, no, oh no, no, no. I didn't know this was one of those games. Oh, how rude of me. Please pardon my mistake. I was sure that's what you said, but it seems I was wrong. What came over me? That was... Uh, why did I get goosebooms from that? Because <laughs> it knows your name. Let me try again. You wish to be called Grumbelina? Yes. I see. Very good. I seem to have forgot- I've gotten it right this time. That was awesome. <laughs> That's the best thing in this game, right? is that they detected my actual name. Alright, now that we've been properly introduced, let us begin our story. Ahem. <clears throat> From and to- and- Antiquity. To present- oh wait. To present day, regardless of how society and civilization evolve. Thank you. Yeah. DEATH has been a constant presence that none have ever escaped. Whether it is one's own or that of someone close, death is always a difficult thing to accept. This is an immutable reality, a failure shared <laughs> by all shut your pretty <laughs> face, no matter the age in which they live. In fact, oral traditions reflecting people's fears and prayers regarding death still remain, ghosts, spirits, and so on. Similarly, in an attempt to defy death, many curses, rituals, and customs have been born from burning spirit incense to summoning the souls of the dead. Some of those secret arts are still being passed down to this day. Ah, on that note, Grumbelina. <laughs> I love that name. This may seem rather abrupt, but... Is there someone you wish to bring back from the dead? Watch if... Ah! 
What if you had one chance to use the secret art of resurrecting the dead? Yes, if you had the power to bring someone back to life one time and one time only. What would you do, Grumbelina? Use the directional buttons to make your choice. What would we do, honey? I'd use it even if I had to sacrifice myself. I'd use it even if I had to sacrifice someone. I'd use it if it came at no cost. I wouldn't want it. Let someone else have it. Oh, what, do, what do you think? <laughs> hmm. If I could, like, laying out the, 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 the scenario here. If I lost you and I needed to bring you back, I would, I would sacrifice myself. Yeah. I would, I'd probably kill someone. Oh, yeah? I'd still use it if there's no cost. And then, I, I don't know, maybe, I mean, maybe it might be good to let you, you know, live in peace and not bring you back. Rest in peace? Rest in Rather peace. Rather than live in peace because I'm no longer living? Rest in peace. In this scenario. <laughs> so, I mean, either way, I mean, I'm, I'm okay with either. Oh, um, yeah, whatever you, you choose. You know what? I'm not going to disturb the dead. Why would I do that? Why would I disturb your peace? Oh, you, I've annoyed you for almost 80 years at that point when you die. <laughs> I'm like, you want to you wanna deal with me for eternity? Awesome. I have a good almost... 100 years. A little over 100. That's in my mind's eye. <laughs> so that you think I live to be 100? Or? I would like you to live until you're 100. That would be nice. I'd yeah, like you. Too. I'd like you to live before me. You know, live on after well, me. Well, I, I started life before you. And okay. <laughs> well, then I want you to continue it. No. <laughs> this is not topic. Okay. Why are we on this topic? Why? Why would you do this yeah. to me? Yeah. Anyway. <clears throat> I see. Very interesting. Yes. Yes. That is what I thought you would say. Really? I don't think you did. Hmm. Much seems to be the matter. Ah, you want to know what this box that has been sitting here is? It's a TV. It's quite the curious thing, isn't it? It's called a color television. I, I could have told you that. I, and I did. The world I will be, the world I will be sending you to is the full of devices such as this that do not exist in the age you are from. Are I beg to differ. What age are we from? In this era, a color television can be found in nearly every household. This is not this is not all. For example, if a person should wish to contact someone while they are out of their home, they can use public telephones like this can be found all over the city. Can you imagine what life would be like in such a time? I can and have been past that. Yeah, that's the thing. I'd be thrilled to have you continue this story, Grumbelina. After all, this is why you, you came here, no? So let us begin. I have kept you waiting long enough. I present to you the Paranorma site, a bizarre tale surrounding the curse known as the Rite of Resurrection. A peculiar yarn and art and yeah, ensnaring and nine men and women in a fierce fight for their lives as it unravels. Is it nine men and women or nine men and nine women? Is there 18? Oh. Are, are you confused uh. by that too? I just took it as nine of both men and women. Okay. Some of the characters appearing within uh, within surely share your views on the right of resurrection. I imagine those who have lost someone dear to them will feel particularly strongly about it, clinging to it as their last desperate hope. The first I shall introduce, an, a man <laughs> named Shogo Oki is one of them. Uh, we can look at that later. Okay. Let's just go on. Breaking news. Breaking news. Oh, I wonder what it could be at such a time. Early this morning, the bra the body of a drowned man was discovered at a park in Sumida City. Police have identified the body as Shogo Oki, a 25-year-old man who worked at a company in the area. So this guy's dead already. Okay, so are we, are we gonna have to, uh, so, like, resurrect one of these nine people he's about to show us? I don't know. As signs of a struggle were found, the Sumida police suspect foul play and have launched an investigate. Oh, excuse me. Please pay no mind to what you have just seen. Goodness, you very nearly saw something that would have spoiled the story. Just pretend you did not see that. Let us turn back time a smidge and start again from there. Do you understand? You saw nothing. You know nothing. 
We're Jon Snow. We will know nothing. This is the story of a work of fiction. All locations, characters, organizations, legends, etc. that appear in the game have no relation to reality. It's so weird that we haven't done the intro yet. Hello everybody, I'm Crazed. I'm Wichley. This is Paranormal Sight. And we are in a Square Enix game. Yes. The fine folks at Square Enix gave a copy of this game. So. No worries. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to have you do this one because I'm imagining this is going to be a girl. For male. For male. Okay. Shogo? Shogo, are you alright? Hey, it is a woman. Good on me. Hey, can you hear me? Huh? Oh, I have to. Oops, sorry. Hey, that's not a proper answer. Earth to Shogo, okay? Wow, this is interesting. You can look around. Like, like that. That's so cool. What do you think you're doing falling asleep here? You gave me quite the shock. Come on now. Up with you. Up. All right. Oh, that's you. Okay, and... Oof. There. How's that? All right. Do you feel dizzy? Have a headache? Are your humors off balance? Yeah, are your humors off balance? Just a bit, you know? I was gonna make a joke here, but it just doesn't feel right. I'm fine, I think. There's definitely nothing wrong with my humors, though my head's still a little fuzzy. Office worker Shogo Oki, who's going to drown. He's gonna drown. <laughs> He's gonna drown. He's gonna die being drowned to death. Uh-oh, that doesn't sound good. Turn your head around a little bit to see if you can walk all right. When the game is in your control, use the right stick to sw or swipe the screen with two fingers to look around. So interestingly enough, this is uh, this is a mobile game as well. Oh, really? Like you can play this on mobile. This is on Switch. We're playing it on Switch right now, and it's also on Steam. So I guess that's why they have this swipe screen functionality. So try looking around with your surroundings. Use the right stick. Wow. Okay. Interesting. It kind of feels weird, like a first person kind of thing, you know? Yeah. That is so cool, though. I like it. I really. Oh! Jesus! Can you. <laughs> Seriously! There was a bubble and you popped it! <laughs> <laughs> good, good. You seem to be fine. What a relief. <laughs> you know what? I have to give the game credit for one already freaking me out. <laughs> by calling my actual name, and yeah. then now this. So you know what? This is a visual novel, and it's doing it's doing some really interesting stuff. Yes, it is. So, <laughs> well, this she's like. Vroom, vroom. Do you remember anything like where we are or what we are doing? The right of resurrection. <laughs> I can like, just throw that out. Huh? Wait a second. When did I tell you about that? I mean, I guess I must have, seeing as you know that name, but weird. Did you see that like, it zoomed in on her face and now it's like blurry? Yeah. It's interesting. Anyway, you still seem a little out of it. Why don't you look around a bit more? I don't know about that. Look around and select things you want to investigate. You can converse with people by selecting their faces. Well, obviously, I would hope. Wait, let's just, yeah, let's just look around our surroundings. Let's see what's going on. Hmm, where are we? All right, this is Sumida City, Tokyo. We're at Kinshiboro Park near Kanshishiko Konshish, uh, Station. I am. I just want <laughs> to apologize. I already said. Did I not say Kinshibori? Right? No, you said Kinshibo. Kinshibori Park near Kinshisho Station. I just want to apologize if I'm going to pronounce Kinshisho. some stuff wrong in this entire playthrough, but that's what's going to happen. Yeah, probably. So. Yoko brought me here saying she needed my help with something important. It's just past midnight. That explains why there's nobody else around. Okay, so our files are updated. So these are, this is important stuff that we're figuring out. Okay, playground is an interesting looking playground. I bet it's crawling with kids during the daytime, but it's kind of peaceful here at night. Okay, let's see what else we got going on here. Um, surroundings. We already did our surroundings. Ooh, telephone, telephone. 
These telephone booths are all over town. The lights are always on so they can be used in an emergency. I wonder if those are used for saving. Oh. Or calling the police, because it was highlighted gr uh, blueish. I'll have to check okay. out those updates. Thank God. Page. Yeah, I'll look at that shortly. Let's just talk with her. Yikes, that was close. If we died before we got our hands on the right of resurrection, everything would be over before it started. Right, you're right, you're right, this? Yes. Um, recall? What is this? Let me think. What can I remember? Okay, her name is Yoko. We met a month ago. What's the deal with this park? Oh, so we're recalling now. Okay. So that's what I needed to do. It all started when I was born. <laughs> it was around noon on one of my days off. I had just finished running some errands in Kinshisho. Uh, Kinshisho? And we're here taking a quick break. I was just looking around. Ab some absent mindly. Mindly. I can't speak tonight. Jesus. Of course, we're doing a uh, visual novel where I'll just be talking. When I noticed this girl loitering about, she was digging up holes in the, in the sandbox and searching around the playground. She seemed to be enjoying herself, talking to the animal figures and petting them on their heads. My curiosi curiosity got the better of me before long, and I stuck struck up a conversation. Hey, are you looking for something? That's my go-to rent line when I pick up chicks. Is it? Do no. you do that often? No. Hmm. I'm married. I've been married for three years, almost. Yeah, not quite. Not quite. <laughs> hmm. I already said it. Okay. okay. <laughs> oh, sorry. I must look like a total weirdo. Nah. You're just my type. Um, yeah, I guess you could say I'm looking for something. If you want, I could give you a hand. Really? I mean, that'd be a huge help, but... But? Are you really just a good Samaritan? Or are you after, you know, something else? I'm looking for a girlfriend! Huh? Definitely do the other thing. <laughs> Wait, should I literally be Good Samaritan or say definitely the other thing? What do you want to say? I want to see what that does. Oh, you're funny. At least you're upfront about it. Okay, I guess I'll let you help me. Be warned, you might regret what you've gotten yourself into. No worries. What are you looking for? Anyway, did you lose a bracelet or something? Not exactly. I'm searching for one of the seven mysteries. Supposedly, this is the location of the Whispering Canal. <laughs> the what? No, I've done it. I bet you think I'm some kind of lunatic. Not yet. Well, we're gonna get there. The Seven Mysteries of Hanjo. Do you know anything about it? I figured that everyone around here would have at least heard of it, but I guess not. Hanjo is what the Southern is what the southern part of Sumida is called. A, a long time ago, this part of Tokyo was split into two separate cities. The north part was Mukujima, and the south part was Hanjo. Huh? That wasn't a question. Uh, am I boring you? Well, I'm not a local or anything. I just work around here. Oh, then no wonder you didn't know. Well, the Seven Mysteries of Hanjo is a legend dating all the way back to the Edo period. Really? It's that old? That's like over 200 years old, if my okay. math is correct. <laughs> oh, I've got your attention after all. I just assumed it was one of those fake stories made up to chase the occult craze. Haha, <laughs> I don't blame you. A lot of popular stories going around are pretty fishy. But we are right next to a ravine. Mm -hmm. So, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but the seven mysteries of Banjo are different because they're all true. They're true? That's what I said. They're the real deal. So hold on. What does that mean? Are you telling me there's actual paranormal stuff at work in this park? Yep, pretty much. But there's got to be more to it. After all I've done, I still haven't found a thing. There was the first time I met Yoko Fukunaga. So that was the recall. So we just got a flashback. Okay. 
We exchanged contact info and we talked on the phone a few times since. We even met in person like once or twice. You could consider it like a date. <laughs> but she never brought up the seven mysteries of Hanjo again. I figured she got bored and she got bored of it. So it was a date. <laughs> Until today, when all of a sudden she decided to resume her search. Huh? Wait a second. Where did where did Yoko go? Yoko. Oh, there you are, Yoko. What you doing? There she is. She's back to digging up holes in the sandbox and searching around the playground. <laughs> this brings back memories. <laughs> she seems to be enjoying herself, talking to the animal figures and petting them on their heads. No animal needs that much petting. Uh, so I just let her do her thing. Jeez, she's still at it. Okay, I guess I'm just going to look around surroundings more. According to Yoko, the Whispering Canal, one of the seven mysteries of the Hanjo, is around here somewhere. It's apparently the story that the expression left at the canal originally comes from. I think I left myself a note about it. I should check my files. Oh, now they're going to make me look at my files. Look girl, let's see. Your brain files? Oh, my brain files. Uh, an enduring superstition, formerly known as Kinshi Bori. Many fishermen once gathered on this section of the canal and ran through Hanjo. I imagine they're trying to tell me this stuff because I might need to be I might need to think outside the box when this comes when it yeah. comes to this these mysteries and stuff. As their days come to a close and the fishermen gather up their catches, a terrifying voice would rise up from the canal whispering, Leave it behind. Leave it behind. Those who ignored the voice found themselves unable to move and their previous full baskets of fish emptied. They would then be dragged into the canal, never to return. The strange phenomenon con continued to occur, and the people began to call this bo body of water the Whispering Canal. Why would this be in a park? It's very weird. Okay. Okay, playground already checks surroundings. She is... Okay, she's still going at it. I can't really do anything with her. Already did the telephone. Do I just need to do recall again? That's right, she asked me to come here to help her look for one of the seven mysteries. Actually, I think I did some research in the seven- I art. I can't remember all too well, I should check my files. I already looked! <laughs> is there more? Indeed, look at there that. There is more! Holy crap! The foot washing- there is- Wow, there is a lot. What a, I thought we were just focusing on the one and then you'd like slowly give me the one I need, you know? Right. Holy crap. We should just stick with the this one. I so this has to be like clues. Kinshibori, which is where we are at. The park, right? That's the park? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh wait, she's coming back this way. Hey, what was that just now? Oh, I, it's okay. I was just recalling. <laughs> huh? Didn't you hear that? Nope. You're hearing things. No, I didn't hear anything. You sure you didn't just imagine it? Hmm, maybe I did. But your special talent, you should have been able to hear it. Pay closer attention for me, okay? My special talent? What are you talking about? Huh? I mean your spirit sense. You look like you can handle your liquor. I can hear and handle my spirits, but I can't handle the liquor. I can handle my liquor and my spirits. I have no idea what drinking has to do with it, but I don't think so. Hmm, well, you must. I mean, you can see me, right? What does that mean? Is she dead? Oh my Is she God. dead this whole time? Is she part of the seven mi- 1 a.m. Okay, so it's one hour later. What is happening in Kishibori Park? Uh, is she dead? Is that what we're about to find out? She's dead? That would be crazy. Um, I'm going to need like you to tell me more. I don't know how she's so comfortable talking about spirits and paranormal stuff at a time at, of night. At this time of night. Either she's got, got guts or she's just used to it. Unless, no, it can't be. Are we thinking what we're thinking? It might be. Wait, wait, wait. You're kidding, right? About what? I mean, just now. It kind of sounded like you were saying that only people with spirits sense, sense can see you. Of course that was a joke, duh. You don't really think I'm some kind of evil spirit, do you? But yeah. I meant what I said about your spirit sense being strong. I bet you could down a whole gimlet 
There's someone one, behind you! One gulp. Oh my god. Seriously? Did, did you... Did you see the guy behind you? No. You didn't see him? He's behind my person! He's behind your person? Yeah! I wonder if, like, if the camera's gonna show you a little bit more. No? Okay, just, okay, just keep going. Keep going. That's the real reason I asked you to help me with the seven mysteries of Hanjo business. Okay, let me just clarify something. Are you saying you can actually see paranormal stuff? Sure, I could handle a solid Moscow mule. Why are you measuring this in terms of cocktails? Oh, that, that was me. Sorry. Oh. Not a believer, huh? Well, that's no matter. But you have to... But you have to have seen some weird stuff over the years, right? Can we not zoom in on your eyes? Weird stuff? Yeah, like, things you could see but could never understand. You can't be serious. There was someone literally behind me. He was right there. I swear to God, future me will zoom in behind Shoujo. He was looking at us. It was like a shadowy figure. I'm not making this up. I believe you. Okay, let's look around again. It's gotten late, really late actually. It's already past 1 a.m. There's a chill in the air, but I guess that's normal for this time of year. Or so I keep telling myself. Ooh, this is just sca This is getting scary. Telephone. Okay, I already know, I already know, I know. Okay. We can talk some more, but let me keep looking just in case. Playground? That's an interesting looking playground. But it's crawl. Okay, I already, I already said this stuff. Let me just recall before we talk to her again. It's gotten most of my memory. I've gotten most of my memory back, but I still feel a bit out of it. Okay, so we gotta keep talking. About spirit sense, about alcohol, about the seven mysteries, about the rite of resurrection. Um, I just remembered, I actually did some research on the seven mysteries of Hanjo at the library. You did? What did you find? Well, I discovered a few interesting things. Ooh, tell me everything. Seven Mysteries. Although they're called the Seven Mysteries, the literature lists nine of them. Oh, I'm surprised you picked up on that. Nice researching. Some people think there could be up to 15. That's the thing about these old folk tales. Stuff gets added to them over the years. That's more extra stories than ma main ones. Yeah, but the Seven Mysteries rolls off the tongue way better than nine or fifteen. If you say so. But it makes sense, don't you think? It's more likely to be passed on if it's easy to remember. Huh, that's a good point. Okay, well I can keep talking to her. Um, yeah, let's talk about the spirit sense a little bit. I've seen ghost photos in magazines before, but are you telling me they really exist? You bet they do, but you can only recognize them if you really believe in them, so be careful. So even with my skill, I won't be able to see them if I doubt that they exist? That's right. The spirit world is all about the mind and the soul. You won't be able to see a thing unless you're properly in tune. But sometimes people get caught up in the moment thinking they might see something, and then they really do because they believed they would. Is that how that works? Yep, just like drinking. You'll never know how much booze you can handle unless you're ready to down some shots. I'm still not sure I get the drinking thing. Huh. I... You know, I realized how strange it was that the word... As the words left my mouth. I know, I can't speak to you either. Right. Sheesh. Sheesh. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm like... Is it weird I'm so enamored by this? It's really interesting. Totally unrelated, but do you actually drink? Like, real alcohol, I mean. Wow, talk about whiplash. I didn't expect you to start making small talk. We've been talking about alcohol for the past, like, ten minutes. Well, our conversation was getting a bit dark. I figured a change of talk to topic might lighten things up. Oh, I see. If you really want to know, I'd like to think I can handle a few drinks. But to tell you the truth, I never actually had a Moscow meal. Really? Now? <laughs> I just thought it sounded cool. I would like to try it, though. Why don't we go for a drink sometime, then? Huh? <laughs> Another <laughs> date, you smooth talker. Ooh, are you asking me out? 
Uh, you were, you know, that. Uh, you were after something else. No, that's not what I meant. Ah, uh, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I'd be up for that. But only if we find one of the seven mysteries. Okay, deal. That's my motivation. I want to. I want to get that date. Wait, what's that over there? Okay. I want to get that date. I gotta keep asking her some stuff. Okay. Also, checks it off. Okay. Ooh. Nice. Okay, let's talk about the Rite of Resurrection. Oh, by the way, we're talking about the Rite of Resurrection? Oh, your memory is as strong as your tolerance. I'm gonna start calling you Martini Man Shogo. I like that. <laughs> right. I'm really climbing up the drinks menu, huh? So, you know about it, huh? The Rite of Resurrection. A magazine ran a feature on it recently that got practically everyone talking about it. Really? Maybe that's where I heard about it. Still, I don't know. It seems a little too far-fetched to be true. So, the Rite of Resurrection. It's the forbidden art of bringing the dead back to life, concocted by a famous... Uh, Anmonyoji? Um, yeah, whatever. From <laughs> an ancient age. Rumor has it an old manuscript containing actual concrete details about the rite was recently discovered. This rumor comes from a presentation given by local historian <laughs> Oh, sorry. <laughs> Deki Arashi. Deki Arashi at an, <laughs> an academic conference. I can't talk either tonight. Words. You sure know a lot about this stuff. That's because I'm secretly a huge occult buff. I kind of got that. I, I would hate to see her room and she has like a goat skull on an altar, maybe some hair. Sounds badass. Of, of Shogi's, like, of Shogo's hair or something, or I don't know. Yeah. Oh. She doesn't seem interested now. But if I, but if a researcher spoke about it at an academic conference, it must have some basis in fact. Exactly. That's why I believe the right of resurrection is real. Now I'm starting to believe it, too. Good. The pursuit of the unknown starts with belief. I got that from Professor Arashi himself. Hmm. Alright, so we got some updating. Okay. Oh, we're still talking. Okay. Uh, I thought we already talked about spirit sense. But maybe sense. we didn't finish the conversation. And if you can believe that, there might be hope for you yet. You can't be serious. Okay, so that might have finished it. There we go. Okay, now we can finish this. Well, what about the seven mysteries of Hanjo? Oh, your attention? I guess these are like more dialogue of the tree. Okay, so... So I read some of the stories and none of them were, well, scary. I thought these, these were supposed to be ghost stories. That's true. They're more like a collection of superstitions, really. But there are some pretty disturbing ones in the mix. Yeah, like the one that's supposed to take place here, the Whispering Canal. People who finish, uh, who fished in the canal would hear a voice calling out saying, leave it. They had to abandon their catch or the canal would take it. Right, right. Is that what you were expecting to find here in this park? Um, not quite. We're talking about a folk tale from hundreds of years ago. After centuries of the telephone game, who knows if it's anything like the original story. So basically... You think the true story of the Whispering Canal might be completely different from what we know? Exactly. I'm sure it is. I mean, weren't you curious? About what? People from around here have that expression left at the canal, right? Meaning to abandon someone. This story is where it comes from. Except the story being told today is about fish. There's nothing in it about leaving people behind. Now that you mention it, that's true. So you're saying the original story maybe did involve someone being abandoned? That's what I'm trying to find out. Ah, gotcha. Wait, hang on, I got another question. Mm hmm? You mentioned the Rite of Resurrection, are you looking for that too? Does it have something to do with the Seven Mysteries of Hanjo? Oh, you're sharp. I could cut my finger on you. Ouch! I don't. <laughs> to tell the truth. It's actually the other way around. What do you mean? Hmm, well... I started off searching for the rite of resurrection. 
but along the way I realized that I needed to investigate the seven mysteries of Hanjo first. I'm wondering why Yoko is looking into this, though. I'm wondering if, like, she wants to bring someone back. She might, yeah. And who is that, you know? Who knows? I see, so then... What's that got to do with the seven mysteries? Or why are you looking for the right? Yeah, you know, I want to ask about the right. If you're looking into a way to bring someone back from the dead, does that mean you got someone you want to bring back? Mm, you know what? Forget it. I just It just came to mind, so I thought I'd ask. I didn't mean to pry, sorry. No, it's fine. I figured I'd need to tell you at some point. It's Ogopogo. Okay. Ogopogo? Yeah, I want to bring Ogopogo back to life. He died in an accident about a month ago. That's when they started talking or meeting. Indeed. Ogopogo died? Oh, right. Ogopogo was my dog. I had him for eight years. Oh, okay, your dog. Gotcha. You spent a long time together. Losing him must have been really hard for you. Yeah, to be honest, I'm not sure if the right even works on dogs. But as soon as I found out about it, I knew I had to give it a try. I don't think I could forgive myself if I just let the opportunity pass by. Definitely. Now I understand why you feel so strongly about it. Thanks for telling me. I know this must have been hard to talk about. But you know what? All of that led me to meeting you. Aww. So at least something good came out of it. Though it doesn't mean I'll stop looking, obviously. Yoko? I'll do everything I can to help you. Yeah, I'm glad to hear that. Let's keep up the hard work then, yeah? What's that got to- I say, let's ask about that one now. Yeah. What, what about the connection between this rite and the seven mysteries? Putting together everything we've talked about, my guess is that the original stories behind the seven mysteries, the true stories, are the key to finding the Rite of Resurrection. And that's why you're searching for one of them here. Do I have that right? Wow, 10 out of 10. You're proving to be quite the capable assistant. Wait, since when was I your assistant? Anyway, this <laughs> is all just hearsay, but... Some say that what led to the seven mysteries coming to be was the rite of resurrection itself. Huh? Don't the stories come from the Edo period? Edo. Edo? I thought the rite of resurrection was supposed to be way older than that. Right. It seems that an uh, uh, Anmyoji from the Edo period rediscovered the ancient art. That old manuscript I mentioned with all the details on how to use the rite, apparently it was written in the Edo period. Oh, right, I never told you. Oh, so that was you. <laughs> right, I never told you its name. The manuscript is called The Record of Fates. Whoa, what a name. <laughs> and it speculates that the secret of the rite is hidden within the seven mysteries of Hanjo. So now, the seven mysteries are the hot new trend. Among who? You know, this whole thing started to sound pretty questionable. Come on, remember what I said about the pursuit of the unknown? Starts with belief, right. Alright, files updated, okay. What, what the- What happened? What the hell? Feels like the air just changed. I think- uh... Uh, hello? Yes? Yoko, are you okay? Uh, uh, uh... Hey, what's wrong? Stay with me. No, this- this can't be- no, no, ah! Uh, time to think? What, is something on my face? Something's got Yoko really rattled. Okay. Am I turning around? Am I turning around? Okay. Um... I don't like this. Come on, just... I feel eyes on my back. I can't move. Is there something behind me? I- I can't do anything! Ah! Uh, why? Ah! Uh. Okay. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Yoko! Yoko! <laughs> okay. I really need to look, right? I mean, I need to keep looking. Remember, there was someone right there. There was. Something has to be happening right now. Okay, let me think. Something's got Yoko really rattled. Okay, I already know that. 
It's no use talking to her in this condition. Feel eyes on my can't. Okay, I can't do anything. Do I look up? No. Okay, I can't really look at anything up. What do I do? Maybe I maybe I think over here then. Okay, already. I can't look in your notes or something. It'd be weird to look in my notes right now, but <laughs> feel like something major's happening. Yeah. But I guess look. There's some feels on my. I can't move. Think. Okay, that's what I'm doing right now. I I don't know what to do. Okay, I can't talk to her. We've already we've already looked at her. There has to be something going on. Something's got Yoko really rattled. Obviously, she's looking at me or something somewhere. Um, I guess my only option right now is to look at my files, you know? Yeah. Okay, things are updating. Seven mysteries. Okay, we already talked about that. Leave it behind, leave it behind. Hmm. I don't know what we could do. Hmm. Remember she was hearing something? Yeah. I wonder if that has anything to do. I don't know if it would, but... I guess turn down the music, maybe? I'm kind of curious what happens. I'm going to turn up the volume. All right. Do you hear that? Yeah. Um. I'm hearing. <gasps> Yoga's pointing over here, but I don't see anything out of the ordinary. Push? Ugh! I don't get this. What's happening? Was it because I turned off the sound? What's going on? Did something happen? Yoko? Yoko? Uh... Yoko? Um... That looks good. <laughs> huh? Oh my god, what's happening? Is she... Is she dying? Is she dead? I have no clue. What the... What is... Something's... What is it? What... Why is this happening? Was it because I turned down the volume? I don't know. Maybe. I couldn't quite hear anything other than, like, wind. Shogo, okay, okay it's still 1 a.m. Why would it do it in this? Yoko, answer me. Yoko? No way, it can't be. Why? Why? She's, like, in the state. What do I do? Call I call, gotta calm down, gotta calm down, damn it. I don't know. You don't know she's dead. You're not a doctor. It's fine. You're fine. Everything's fine. Okay, let's. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ! Are you okay? Yeah, that's just. That scared the <laughs> shit out of me. What the hell just happened? Yo, damn it. I've got bigger problems. Yoko, just hold on. Everything's gonna be okay. Oh, God, she's not breathing. She's cold and I don't feel a pulse. This can't be happening. Okay, okay. An ambulance, right. I gotta call an ambulance. I need a phone. Okay, okay, let's go. Let's go to the telephone. Right, the telephone. I gotta go call an ambulance. What is happening? I called it in. The ambulance shouldn't be long. But is it going to make a difference? Her body's gone stiff, her skin is cold, and I don't think she's breathing. She looks more like a mannequin than a person now. I don't think there's any, there's any coming back from that. I don't get it. Just a few minutes ago, we were chatting away without a care in the world. Yoko? How did this happen? How could someone so bright and bubbly just suddenly drop dead? Resurrect her. I could, I could try to bring her back, right? Huh? Oh, that's right! If the right of resurrection she was talking about really does exist, there might be a way to bring her back. If someone can just drop dead out of nowhere like that, uh, they were, like they were cursed, then why shouldn't we be able to bring them back to life? Yoko believed in it, 
So if I believe in her, it seems completely possible. Maybe, just maybe, I can still save her. Even if I gotta deal with the spirit senses and curses and whatever, I gotta give it a try. Wait for me, Yoko. I promise I'll use the Rider Resident Direction to bring you back. Am I just gonna leave? Right before she died, I felt a strange presence a few times. And it seemed like she saw something, something that shook her to the bone. There's definitely something strange going on, and maybe it's still here. What could she have seen? She mentioned that the Rider Resurrection and Seven Mysteries were connected. So maybe whatever was she saw had something to do with the Whispering Canal. Whoa. Another shock? Is this the same sense? Damn it, that presence again. It must be around here somewhere, but where? Okay, let's look before... Wait, what? What is that? Huh, there's something on the ground. Did Yoko drop this? I didn't notice it until now, but there's a small wooden sculpture by her side. It's three or four centimeters tall. It looks like it could be a keychain, but from how rotted it, it is, it's way too old for that. Despite how tiny it is, it, I feel an almost palpable malice radiating from it. What the hell is this thing? Cursed Stone Acquired, the Whispering Canal. Okay, we got it. We got a cursed item. Shh. Uh, hello, little girl. What the... Help me, leave me, it hurts. Are these the Whispering Canal's memories? Ugh. Why? Such deep sour, resentful memories flowing through my mind. Turn turn back, they walk. Turn they, their backs, they walk away, leave me behind, drop dead. Kill, kill them. them. Kill them. Those who walk away. Kill them all. You have acquired the power of the curse on the Whispering Canal. You can use it to kill those who walk away from you. Press the use curse button to kill your target as they attempt to depart. A murderous impulse seeps into the soul like thick black tar. Am I about to use it? On who? Now. Kill. Can you hear it? Curse barrier? Or bearer? Bearer. bearer. <laughs> <laughs> you who so strongly desires the right. Kill them. Should you seek life restoration? Take your curse in hand. Reap lives by the score. Am I gonna be a killer? And claim their soul dreg uh, their dr their soul dregs for your own. Collect enough to sate the vessel. And by their sacrifice, claim the gift of resurrection. So I basically, it's telling me to kill people to get it to, like, to be full me. enough to resurrect. Or yeah. better yet, That was slay. one of the uh, choice options at the beginning, wasn't it? I think to so. Kill people in order slay to your fellow curse bearers. So there's other people. For their, for theirs are the equal of, dro of droves of lesser souls. Now go forth and kill. What? Oh my god, this is crazy. We're learning... What the hell was that? It was like the cursed memories flowed directly into my mind. In an instant, I understood everything. When I picked up the cursed stone, the Whispering Canal must have cursed me. I also heard a strange voice. It told me that if I want the right... I have to kill a bunch of people with the cursed stone and collect their souls. I guess it's good to know that the right really exists, but this thing wants me to kill people to get it? Screw that! Putting my own life on the line is one thing, murdering other people is another thing entirely, and not just one person either, scores it said. So this is the curse of the Whispering Canal, huh? The curse that traps the soul of anyone who tries to walk away from me. But if I use it and collect enough souls, then I'll be able to bring Yoko back. And there was something about other curse barriers being worth more soul dregs. Jeez. I'm really at a loss here. Wow, this was a lot of information. Alright. Um, we're stopping here. This, yep. Okay. This is where we stop. What do you think? Really good. Yeah, I'm like, holy shit. This is, this is getting, this is intense. 
I was I was pulled in. Oh yeah. So I can't wait to play more. I'm like really excited to play more. I have so many questions, but it looks like we have like a basis of what this visual novel is going to give us now. So I'm really, really? excited. Um, that was Paranormal Sight. Thank you again, Square Enix, for letting us try out this game. Huh. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you guys enjoyed this, please leave a like down below. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And we'll see you for the next one. Until then, I'm crazed. And I'm Witchly Grimbalog. <laughs>